hello everyone. My name is Farooq Karandish. Uh, today's uh, presentation is about the real-world application of computer vision. I graduated recently from Concordia University and my thesis was based on computer vision. Uh, so the agenda for, in, for today's presentation is based on, um, we're going to go through the introduction for computer vision, then we're going to move to existing technologies in computer vision, recognition and its application, computer vision in retail, and then last references. So what is computer vision? For us as a human, it's very easy to understand the information, 3D information around us. So for example, by looking at an image, we can um, clearly understand the feeling or counting the people on the image as a male or female, and even find their feeling, even they're smiling, they're happy, they're not happy. But how about for the computers? Can they understand who is in the picture, who is in the image, their feeling, and, then, and getting the information? Based on this, the goal of computer vision is to establish uh, methods that allow computers to see and understand images, analyze them, and finally reach machine vision just like a human vision. Now we're moving to the existing technologies in computer vision. The first technology is uh, based on um, optical character recognition. This is a technology that helps to read text from images. It could be a handwritten or postal code or plate number recognition. They use this technology in fraud detection in banks for getting the information on the checks and also reading the credit card number. They use it in uh, they use it for plate recognition or uh, receipt recognition to track the custom, customer uh, buying habits. Also, they use computer vision for uh, machine inspection. They use 3D uh, 3D X-ray. Uh, to, to find out the defect on the um, machines on the, or different things. And in retail, they use object recognition for automated checkout lanes. Uh, they use computer vision and automotive safety for detecting unexpected obstacles such as pedestrian on the street. The very famous yeah. model could be a Tesla. And they use match move in Hollywood for merging computer generated imagery with live action footage. Uh, they use computer vision for fingerprint recognition, for automatic, uh, for auto automatic access authentication, as well as a forensic application. And they use it in surveillance camera for monitoring uh, the roads and highways for getting uh, the information about traffic. And um, that's it. Now we're going to the recognition and its application. Uh, computer vision is a very, very broad field. It, uh, it classifies to different uh, categories such as image formation, image processing, features, motion. But the today's um, application, today's um, focus is on recognition. So recognition divided to different classes such as face detection, pedestrian detection and counting, vehicle detection and recognition, Post detection, location recognition, and image-based recommendation systems. The very first, first one is face detection, which we clearly see them on our cameras and iPhones or Androids. Uh, with the, uh, they use that in video conference system to control a pan tile head mm -hmm. and security and identification. And for example, you, on Facebook or on Instagram, you can tag your friends, uh, like their faces, and this technology used face detection. Um, the, the other one is pedestrian detection and counting. As you can see, uh, we can, you can see the uh, pedestrian counted in these images. They use this technology for store performance and for crowd statistics during festivals and pedestrian tracking. Um, they use vehicle detection and recognition for traffic control, for recognition of vehicle type, which type of vehicle, is it Mercedes-Benz, is it uh, Toyota or whatever. They use it for recognition of the approximate vehicle color, detection of vehicle uh, direction of travel to find out which way has more traffic, and for predicting the speed of the vehicle, also prediction of approximate vehicle size. They use a computer vision for post detection and we use this in technology in sport, 
patient monitoring and activity recognition, for example, in the airport to show the uh, signals to the um, airplane, or they use it as a, like police officers, they use it to show different activities. And we're gonna go see a video on that. As you can see here, we can get the joints of the people and find out their uh, their position or um, their poses here. Uh, they use image-based recommendation system for extracting features from the images using we use transfer learning method and similarity analysis. Amazon use this technology a lot to sell more products or to recommend uh, similar products to the customer. This is based on the color edges of the image and the size of the image that showed in the picture. Now we are going to move to the computer vision in retail and how we can use computer vision to make a profit with that in retail. Uh, we use computer vision to tracking the time customer spend in the store, customer tracking, customer counting, and location analysis. Uh, time customer spend in store, uh, the value to value whether a store management is profitable, it is necessary to study certain key performance indicators, such as total amount of sale per hour, total amount of sales per customer or product, total average sale made for each staff member, and total sales value per square meter. We gotta go check a YouTube video on that. As you can see here, a customer picks something and he starts to reading the information or about it. And we can see for each product, the customers, they have more like attractive to which product more here. And uh, getting back to the here. Uh, so uh, customer tracking, we use it for, uh, this technology helps to generate actionable insight for in-store optimization and customer behaviors. In retail, people counting and anonymous tracking solution are used to compare the store performance, mal analysis, and in-store optimization to increase conversion and profits. Find the sales patterns of customer by age and gender. So we can see which part of the store is more important to the younger or older people. And we can, based on that, we can put our products in different part of the store. In this, um, so also we can count people in uh, different, during the different hours of the day in the store. Uh, and this gives us a number of visitors, sales conversion, store comparison, and mail analysis. And um, common business benefits from location analysis is shopper traffic to store. We can get the number of visitors, proximity traffic, uh, we capture the rate, choosing physical store site, trade area analytic, in-store product positioning, path to purchase, in-store employee location, service productivity, and in-store live map and product information, path analysis. And these are the references. And that's it. If you have, no, okay. mm. if, you have if you have any questions. Anybody has questions on, uh, on the presentation? <coughs> Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, my question, uh, well, more than a question, is to ask you please to elaborate more about the privacy considerations uh, about the recognition in the stores, about recognition of customers or tackle. It depends, I think it depends on store to store, and uh, the manager of the store uh, 
they decide on that. So, like, we just get the data and work on them. And the privacy, it's up to the higher level of management. It's not about us. We are doing just the analysis on the data, to get the data that we're getting. Yeah. Any other questions on the application of computer vision? Object detection? Well, I guess you. So when you say we are doing the analysis, is it like you as a company, like I mentioned like you were like as a CEO of yeah. a company. I'm interested like what's that company, is it a, this project about the company or what? Uh, that one, it's not, it's not completely in exactly. It's computer vision, but we are using generative adversarial network to for mixing the images and create a new product. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Uh, so you spoke about retail, about surveillance. But yes. What uh, other segment? Um, do you see that you profit from computer vision? I'm thinking especially about um, damage uh, surveillance, yeah. uh, train, plane. Do we have any more insight? Other segment? For in store or out of the store? For damage segment? Um, we, we, as I mentioned here, we have another, we have a special device here that uh, machine inspection that we can use them in store to find if the product is damaged or not. And we can run, the, run this uh, machine through the aisles to find the damage or inappropriate products. Is that time for a few more questions, if you have? So don't hesitate. Yes, uh, about the use of this insight uh, or the information from tracking customers. Yeah. How is this connected to the decision, for example, of finding the best location of products for the layout of the store? Yeah, so the thing, uh, how it's work, we can find which, the, we can find the uh, location of the store for different gender, for, for example, this section is very popular for young generation of people, like young ladies. This is for like more older people. And based on that, we can put different products to attract customers. And this, this, this is gonna be converted to the sales, which is a profit for the, uh, for the retail industry. Um, thanks for your talk. Um, I'm interested in how you um, explain this to people in retail. Mm -hmm. how, how do you say, well, we can track all the expressions of the people shopping and what they're looking at. How do you turn that into like a digital dashboard that says, uh, we've moved the milk to a different aisle. This is, you know, how do they translate it into things without you sitting there explaining to them? Yes. What I really like about computer vision is that you can uh, make a product prototype for that. And then you can explain that to the customer that they're interested in buying this service. So for example, you can create a prototype and explain by video or images to the customer. And I think video and images are very um, informative for the customer like than just the text. They can understand and get it better. Uh, so preparing a <coughs> prototype and showing them probably a real example <coughs> that how the customer attract to some part of the store, why they're attracting here, like which of, like in which gender they are or how old are they. Then we can discuss about um, more decision making process with the, um, with, the, with the managers of the customer, with the managers of the store. Good, thanks uh, anybody. Yes. Thank you very much for that video. It's very interesting, especially regarding the retail. I think you kind of zip everything on like from few to point. I actually have two questions. So first one is, um, can you talk like about um, what kind of algorithm you use? Kind of models, like is it knowledge or deep learning? Like more technical, if you can. And the second question is like, um, let's say I'm Walmart, yes, I'm a customer, and I want to integrate this um, solution or models mm -hmm. uh, in all my stores. Do I need um, to use uh, your services or this kind of services as an API and 
send my data, which is kind of, you know, prepared, etc.? Mm -hmm. Or would you install it inside, like, you know, in-house and for purpose? Thank you. No problem. So I'm going to answer your uh, first question. Yeah. The, we usually use convolutional neural networks for in, for computer vision, and it's based on more computer vision is based on more uh, neural networks. So also we use transfer learning a lot in computer vision. We uh, we get like a new data. We use transfer learning. We optimize it. We optimize the model, and we create something new. And then the second question is that it depends on on different store to store. So we uh, install cameras on different location of the store, and we then, we, based on the um, that store, we decide what is best for for them. And it depends on, on different hours of the day, different days of the week, month. Is it close to Christmas? It's not Christmas. Is it after Christmas? And then, based on that, we can give them uh, some actionable insight for decision to do, to get to make a decision. To the processing inside. Inside, yes, so exactly. No data, data transferred somewhere else. N <coughs> unless we have a millions and millions and millions of data that we can then we can find a pattern for that, and then use them. So we don't use their data to train, for instance. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Okay. So anything else? Uh, yes, and uh, these two last questions. Go ahead. Um, can you elaborate on the, 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 these insights that you provide to the user? You said that the, after all this processing, that there are specific actions that the, the, the user can act. So what is the sort, the sort of insights that, 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 are, that are offered to the user? Yes, of course. So um, I'm going to go to the last slide. So this is going to be the benefit from, I mean, I think for location analysis. The shopper's traffic to the store, how many visitors per day, you can predict it per day, per week, week of the day, per hours of the day, uh, proximity traffic, <coughs> capture rate, we can get the capture rate, choosing, choosing physical uh, store site, which part of the mall is like better for having like a food in food services or which part is better for having kids services. Also, we can use in-store product positioning, which part is better for beauty, which part is better for, I don't know, some grocery. And we can get the in-store employee location, uh, where are the employees and where are the customers and the distance between them. Are they like working properly? Are they, are they interacting with the customers or they're completely in some other part of the store? And we can get the live map and product information um, by using the path analysis. So which path in the store making more money for the, um, for the stores? Uh, thank you for the presentation. You're welcome. Um, my question is more related to the frameworks that you use. Is yes. it that you use TensorFlow, Keras, and with your own models? Or do you use uh, AWS SageMaker or Azure? In terms of, do you use custom mod built models, or do you? I mostly use. Uh, yeah, I mean, actually, we mostly use uh, TensorFlow models, uh, different models on TensorFlow, and also transfer learning a lot. Yeah, but you. it's mostly based on TensorFlow. You're welcome. So thanks very much for. Thank you.